In the back corners of the Heronia Museum, there is a room. A room that time forgot. This one-time audio-visual projection room turned storage closet now houses old video equipment, film strips, slides, and VHS tapes. What forgotten treasures lay buried deep in layers of dust on celluloid and magnetic tape? My name is Brian Pitts, and I'm about to find out. Hello everybody, welcome to my office. This is where I put together the episodes of the Hironi Museum Show, which I hope you're enjoying. On this week's episode, I wanted to share with you uh, some of the things that I have recently found in the AV room in the back of the museum. The AV room used to be a projection uh, booth. The, in the past in the museum there used to be some slideshows and some movies that would play in our auditorium. That is no longer the case. We've moved on to interpret things in different ways, but the AV room still exists and it contains a lot of uh, old videotapes, film reels, uh, slide projector presentations, all kinds of stuff. And uh, over the next little while I'd like to share uh, a lot of what I found in there with you because I find it very interesting. But today I'd like to show you three things that I have found in the VHS library. The first thing I'd like to share with you is a tape that I found that was merely labeled Indian Village in handwriting on the front, which is pretty vague. So I popped it in and I was delighted by what I found. This was taken I suppose sometime in the late 80s, perhaps early 90s. Um, it is uh, some camcorder footage of our village, uh, but it is raw footage. It's panning and zooming and uh, it's not a, a finished package, it's just raw footage. And uh, some people might not find that interesting, but as a video editor, I'm enthralled because it means that I now have footage of the museum from that era before the fire we had a few years ago, for instance, um, and it's completely raw footage. I don't have to sneak snippets out of other uh, little bits of video here and there. It's it's all right there, and it's it's very very valuable to me, and it's valuable to the museum to see what it looked like at that time. So that uh, that was a good find, sort of right off the bat. The second video that I'd like to show you involves uh, an exhibit that began here at our museum in uh, the late 1990s. It was called Alone in the Dark and it was all about lighthouses on Georgian Bay. Perhaps you saw uh, a bit of that exhibit in our episode a few weeks ago about lighthouses on Georgian Bay. This is a video from a Toronto television station, a program called Eye on Toronto and it is promoting that, the opening of that exhibit and it features one of our staff members and I'm just going to let this video speak for itself. Enjoy. Now, from, from the 1800s on, lighthouse keepers on the Georgian Bay have kept a beacon of light shining to warn mariners away from danger. Their isolation as well as their acts of heroism and occasionally cowardice <laughs> have added to the mystery and mystique of the lighthouse. Runs the gamut. A new book and video commemorate those haunted places, please welcome the director of the Heronia Museum, Jamie Hunter. Hi, Jamie. It's great to have you on the show. Now, Jamie, you're here from the Heronia Museum because there's a wonderful exhibit that uh, began, I think it was in June 22nd? That's correct. And goes till September 30th. That's right. What's on display? Well, we have really the largest exhibition of Great Lakes and Georgian Bay in particular, uh, memorabilia, history, photographs, uh, parts of shipwrecks, all relating to the history of lighthouses on Georgian Bay. Not only does this video show a slice of history for the museum, but it also is a, a record in the public record of the many changing hairstyles of our curator, Jamie Hunter. So, that's a good one. The third video I'd like to show you today comes from two television commercials that were produced together put out by the uh, various uh, tourism locations around this region in approximately 2000. 
Uh, and it features, as you can see, the Huronia Museum, as well as uh, other attractions like St. Marie and uh, the Penetang Machine Centennial Museum. But there is one segment for Discovery Harbor where I noticed something interesting. Mm, take, a, take a look. Take a close look. Yeah, there it is. You see that guy rolling the barrel right there? That's right. That's me. I went into the AV room not knowing what to find, and what did I find? Video of me. Ten years before I even worked here. So, uh, that just goes to show that you never know what you're going to find in the AV room. And uh, I'm hoping to uh, share uh, all the, the fun, interesting things that I find in there with you as I find them over the coming weeks and months. So uh, stay tuned to HeroniaMuseum.com and, uh, you know, keep looking. You never know what you're going to find.